Alright everybody, thanks for coming back. Here we have a super cool Florian Racer 250 FPV quadcopter. You can see the nice package it comes in. Pretty cool box. Not a whole lot of details about what's in there, but this is the full meal deal. Comes with a transmitter. Um, the whole deal. 5.8 gig, you name it. So let's open her up and we'll show you what's in there. Nice foam, Looks very well packaged there. Here we have, let me tip this down a little bit, the manual. Details about it, specifications, kind of an exploded view, some measurements. That's right, it's got an FPV screen has its own battery, OSD. Here's how you start and stop the motors with the rudder stick down into the corners. Some info about flying and what's included. That's all you get. So, not overly informative, but a basic. Um, there's two trays here. I don't know if they'll both fit in the screen or not. Put one there and we'll put one here. Let's start with what do we all got going on? Here is the charger. Plugs into there. You got your charger. Looks like it does 2 and 3S. This is a 3S quadcopter. I'm glad to see it comes with a normal plug for the US. That's awesome. Here's your battery. Got a nice package on it. It's your 1500 milliamp 30C battery, 3S. Balance tab, everything's there. Pretty good. Here we've got some propellers. There's a bunch of them in there. Looks like we've got two sets. So we've got a spare set and one running set. Five inch props, five by 4.5s they say on there. Here's the battery strap. Here we've got the mushroom antenna. Awesome. TX, so that'll go on the quadcopter. That's why I was packaged with it. It's like the only thing left is this bad boy. Look at the size of that thing. That is awesome. That is awesome. Got lights, camera, action. Look at that big old bar on there. That's going to be visible. Very cool. Keep moving along here. Here is the screen, 7 inch screen. Super awesome. It's got a battery inside of it. It's got speakers. Um, you can run an auxiliary power in, which is what this here is. So that'll go into there for if you want to run an external battery. Uh, the antenna comes with an antenna. Goes right on there. This has, I want to say it's 32 or 40 channel. Um, so you be, should be able to see everything out there. How cool is that? Not going to need that on there. Hold it down a little bit. Comes right on. Very cool. Look at that. It's nice and bright. Menu options. Let me get back here. You can scroll up or down through the menu. The group. The frequency. Brightness, color, yada yada. Very cool. Let's help tell you. 
Oh, there's all the channels and everything. You guys can see that. Very cool. All right, awesome. We have a neck strap labeled with the Racer 250. That is cool. They thought of everything with this. And is this is the last no, two I have left in here. That's all that I see. Nothing hiding. So we've got the cool six channel transmitter. Feels pretty good. It's a pretty slim case. Takes four double A's. Um, these other pieces here are go together and that screen actually mounts on here so you can have everything in one spot. Um, this is the complete package folks. There is everything there. If you ever wanted to get into racing quads, 250 is a good, nice big stable size. These gimbals feel really great. Nice and smooth. You got your trims, buttons, bind button. Yeah. That's awesome. Very awesome. So yeah, there's the basics on that. Um, this big boy here. Put your little antenna on there. Your propellers. Typically on a quadcopter, they turn in from the end. So they'll turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. So there you go. Plug the battery in there. You can see the receiver. Here's the on off switch for the lights. Turns off the LED lights. Up here is a button for the OSD because there's an OSD on this bad boy. Here you see the receiver antennas are both tucked up in there. I've seen some people route them up through here so you've got the diversity going around. But um, yeah, very big robust machine. So arms feel pretty stout. Got some nice non-grip kind of foam stuff on the bottom here. These motors, you can see the specs on the motors there. 2204, 2300 KVs. Um, it's got a Naze32 board. This little vibration tray is a really cool feature for putting your cameras. We'll, we'll be having a camera on there for sure. Uh, like I said, it's 5.8 gig video. I believe this to be a 600 milliwatt transmitter. Lens looks about like a 2.8 or so to me. And I don't believe it's adjustable on this model. This is the new updated one. So you're kind of stuck with that unless you make some mods. Uh, we'll maybe revisit that later. But you've got your 20 amp ESCs in the arms here. This light bar, supposedly you can change the colors of it to a bunch of different colors. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm excited to get this thing together and get it out there. This is a thousand TVL camera. There you go. Pretty good looking machine. Big sucker. 250. I've been racing like 180s and 220s around and I'm excited to get this in the air see how she feels. I haven't had a 250 in a long time, so this is going to be a lot of fun. So, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you've got any questions. Um, we'll get her bound up and everything working and installed, and we'll come back and let you know how it went. So, thanks for stopping by. So, nothing really says exactly how this goes on. I'm assuming it goes like this. You can put the screw in because the screen screws into the bottom so that'll fit in there that way it's adjustable holds it off the radio um, I put a couple little washers into here because this piece was too wide to fit on there otherwise um, there's a threaded portion here I'm not sure exactly what that is for if something goes into here to hold it off maybe was my thinking because this moves quite a bit um, so I'm not really sure but anyways, I couldn't find anything that really said how to do that. Here's how I did it. Here's all the leftover parts. Uh, this is going to be for the screen, but you got washers, another bolt and a 
nut and then whatever these are for. So I don't know, like I said, nothing says. I don't I don't know. Spare pieces? If I figure it out, I'll post a picture, but I'm sure it'll function fine this way. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll get it together and we'll turn everything on. Alright, we're back. We're going to fire this thing up and see how it all works out. So we'll turn on the transmitter. See, this is pretty sweet. Got a cool readout. Put the battery in the quad. Plug it in and see what happens. Look at that. Works right out of the gate. How cool is that? Pretty cool. So that works. Didn't even have to bind it or anything. It all worked all on its own. Let's see, we've got some bright lights. We got some bright lights there. Awesome. Press and hold that, turn it on. Get that on the right channel. Menu scan. Oop. Menu scan. Make it scan. found one there. Oh, hit the menu button and it hooked up. Alright. Well, there you go. Now you can see those lights are bright. But it's working. That is awesome. Right out of the gate. Simple. You've got to love that. Here you can see your battery voltage on the quad. How long it's been going for. A1. That little button I told you about up here. When you push it, you can see the position of the OSD on the screen changing. Or off. So that's cool. I'm not sure how you can change channels on this yet, but maybe if you hold it. Oh, okay, yeah, you hold it down. So there you go. Now you know. I'm not sure what this thing's beeping to me about, but maybe because you didn't touch any sticks. Got a backlight, that is so cool. All right. Man, that's bright. Oh, look at that. That's a telemetry thing. Now it tells me receiver power. That's sweet. That's awesome. There you go. Doesn't get much easier than that, huh? Hope you enjoyed. We'll be coming back. Uh, with some flight footage and stuff. I'll probably hook this up to clean flight. I want to figure out what the switches do on this exactly. Um, and then we'll we'll know from there. Here I'll unplug the battery and you can see the telemetry. That's awesome. Never had anything with telemetry before. But anyways, we'll hook it up to clean flight, see what makes it tick, um, what switches do what and all that jazz, and uh, then we'll come back with some uh, flying out in the field and we'll see what makes a rip. Alright, 